I don't even know what to say at this point. Because I've I, I've run my course, not with the censorship and the attacks, but I just belong to some other age, I guess. Because there isn't any immediacy. There isn't any concern. There's just kind of jellyfish brain where initiatives mean nothing. Like, we have total illegal censorship going on. We have them bragging about it. We have them dead to rights. No one will attack. And then I'm being totally shut down because we're writing reports and getting it to Congress and they're, they're beginning to act. I'm not that damn smart. You know how easy this is? Jesus. But no one wants to do it. No one has the instinct or the will to execute anything real. They only execute failure. <laughs> You know, God, I begged on my knees early last week to create an Assange um, petition, which actually has an effect to give to Congress and the president. And it, and, and then it was like an afterthought Friday. They were going to, like, stick it right at the end of the show. And then metaphysically, it was done again today. And I'm not mad at the crew. I just, you know, it's like this thing. Like, the more important something is, the more it doesn't matter. The more it's just like nothing like our free speech or capitalism or anything. It's an afterthought because... So, so I'll launch this Assange petition tomorrow or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cancel the show permanently. It's a decision I've made. I'm going to come in here tomorrow and I'm going to launch this at the start of the show or I'm going to shut InfoWars down. I'll probably forget it, but that metaphysically is the symbol that I must shut the doors. Because if I can't even in six days put a petition out for Julian Assange to be pardoned, they're about to extradite him to the U.S., then I shouldn't be on the air. It's like that FBI agent, former counterterrorism guy, big star in the FBI, did a lot of great stuff, said, there's no urgency, there's no pulse, there's no... There's no differentiation. You've got a billion, 800 million Muslims saying we're going to conquer you, we're going to kill you, we're going to murder you. Europe has opened up to it and no one even cares. And then there's a thousand articles a day or more saying ban Alex Jones and saying outrageous lies. Like I was going to uh, poison David Hogg, no proof. Or I beat up a kid, no proof. And it's like you don't feel insulted by people doing that to you? What, the petition doesn't even line up straight? Just take it off. I'm not doing it. I'm just shutting it down and maybe. You know, humanity just has to fall. It has, civilization has to fall. All the left and their big high-rises, learn how to tie their shoelaces, who prey on those of us that work, it just has to go down. And you know it's going to go down, too. And I just have been a fool trying to prop it up. God, I've tried hard, too. God, I've tried so hard. <laughs> There's the answer. We're not doing the Assange thing. It's, it's not going to happen. None of it's going to happen. It's like push notifications on the new app. The push notifications need to go out when we go live at special times. And we're like, oh, we didn't turn that on. It's like, oh, great. You know, it's like, it's like there's some type of spirit of like, I don't know how to explain it. Like the only energy is evil. And so you don't get energy unless you're evil. And then the evil people are like hopping around like gremlins, sabotaging everything. 30% of the public's on psychotropics. Cancer is exploding off the charts and people love it. They live for it. it it's, 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 it's just, it's like God to them. Being lied to, being a failure, being destroyed. It is like sexy. It's like, and then Trump comes in and like tries to deliver and turn things around and all these cowards, they just want the media to agree with them. They go, oh, we hate him too. I hate my 401k. I hate my pay going up. I hate him trying to cut the cost of prescription drugs. I want to be loved by CNN even though I don't watch it. I'll tell you the failings of Trump. He said he'd expose vaccines. He know that vaccines almost 
brain damage, barren. He came back. He bounced back. He, I mean, he knows uh, Assange wasn't a Russian agent. There's no evidence of that. And Hillary had the illegal server, and the info was everywhere, and people got it out, and we exposed the crime, so thank God. He knows all that. So, you know, I want to criticize Trump. There it is. And the so-called left of this country, they're not the left. They're a bunch of deranged criminals who hate themselves so much that they are projecting absolute abject hatred on anyone else having a voice and are the most anti-free speech, anti-liberal people on the planet. And they've gone from denying they were ever censoring a year ago to raging around saying, we want Alex Jones shut up and then misrepresenting what I've said. It's incredible. And every scumbag and slime ball and weird heroin addict and you name it has crawled out from under rocks. People I barely knew 15 years ago to then tell giant lies about me, which is even greater. It'll impeach everything they're doing. It's just at a certain point, you're like, God almighty, this is what death looks like. This is what laziness looks like. <laughs> you know, humans don't communicate anymore, or they, they gibber and jabber about stuff that doesn't matter, and then they send a text message and never communicate with anybody about anything of substance. It's spiritual death. And people are ugly now. They're stupid. Their IQs are dropping. They're dying all around us. I feel like a failure. God, if I ruled the planet, I'd feel like I ruled a pile of cockroaches or something. I mean, who the hell would want to rule this? See, God wants to turn people loose and see them be strong, and that's where we were, and now everything is turning down. Everything is failing. The gods of this system are John Podesta and Hillary Clinton, who both look like meth head mental patients and act like them, and we bow. This is what, because only scum like that would even seek power in something like this. Unbelievable. Unspeakable. I don't even know what to say at this point because I've, I, I've run my course, not with the censorship and the attacks, but I just belong to some other age, I guess, because there isn't any immediacy. There isn't any concern. There's just kind of jellyfish brain where initiatives mean nothing. Like, we have total illegal censorship going on. We have them bragging about it. We have them dead to rights. No one will attack. And then I'm being totally shut down because we're writing reports and getting it to Congress and they're, they're beginning to act. I'm not that damn smart. You know how easy this is? Jesus, but no one wants to do it. No one has the instinct or the will to execute anything real. They only execute failure over and over and over again. But getting the failure, but getting it as the public begins to look like servile hippopotamuses, lobotomized, uh, uh, and you're like, oh, well, just join the establishment. It sees the, and then, oh, the establishment's feeding on the, the subhumans? Oh, let me look at the, the establishment are like a bunch of craved vampires on PCP. I sure as hell don't want to join them. And then I just come to the realization out of trillions of worlds, we're going to probably die. And everything we did as a species and all of our beauty and all of our goodness will just fail. And we're going to go down the tubes because a bunch of inbred child molesters in Hollywood had some psychotic dream that they wanted to kill everybody. And so we all just rolled over by peer pressure and gave into it and never executed anything real, never did anything real, never took action when all the tools were right there in our hands because we weren't meant to. We couldn't do it. We didn't want it. Gerald Salente is coming up.
And we probably won't have that thing for Julian Assange tomorrow. Probably never. Because humanity is going to be slaughtered in mass, and almost all of you are going to die excruciating, long, painful deaths, while the globalists suck every dime out of you with weaponized cancer. And you'll never even know what hits you. So, celebrate our censorship. Celebrate your leftist garbage. Celebrate all of it because you're dead already. <laughs> and celebrate your Islamic God as well and his six-year-old wife. All right, Gerald Salente is coming up. Hope you all enjoy yourselves. There'll be no petition for Assange. There'll be no aid.